So let's just say you forgot your Windows 11 password. So you cannot log into the computer and use it. So I'm going to show you how you can bypass or reset the password so that you can use your computer again. Now this technique that I'm going to show you is usable from Windows 11 to Windows 10 to Windows 8 to Windows 7, even Windows XP. I've been using this technique for years and it has been working well for me. So I did try it with Windows 11 and it is still works because this is the best method that you can do for free. Let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how you can do it. This is my very own computer that we're trying to bypass or reset the password. As you can see, I cannot log in, okay? We need to prepare a couple things, a USB stick, plug it in another computer that has access to the internet because we need to download a software called Hirens Boot CD. We need to download that software. I'll place the link on the description below so that you can go there, click that link and go to this website. Okay, so I'll just click that download and show all so that we can see the progress of our download. It's more than two gigabytes, so you need to have at least four gigabytes of USB stick. Now, this will take time. For me, it took around 30 minutes to download. So you can post this video and come back again when it's done. That's 100%. Now, second software that we need is Rufus, a very simple tool. Quick download, a few seconds. You can go ahead and open it when it's done. I'll also place the link on the description below so that you can go there. Okay, you can see the USB stick that's 16 gigabyte. We plugged that one earlier. And then this next option is um, the ISO. We are going to select the downloaded Hirens Boot CD and then open. Then you change this one with MBR. You can also place a name if you want, a custom name. I'll just put Hirens and then press start. It will delete everything on that USB stick, so make sure you do not have any files that is important. So it will entirely use that USB stick. This will give you around 10 minutes to flush that Hirens boot CD into the USB stick. So you need to wait up again, go ahead and post this video. Once you're done flashing that software into your USB stick, you can come back and continue the tutorial. That's 100% and you can see the status as ready. You can close that. We can also go to our my computer or this computer, check on Hirens. You can see that device. Go ahead and unplug this one and get ready on the next step. All right, here on the USB hub of my laptop, I'm going to plug in the USB stick where the Hirens Boot CD is available. Now on our computer, which we are locked out, we need to restart this one so that we can boot into the USB stick that we plug in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the power button, restart this computer that we're using. Go ahead and restart anyway. There you go. Now, you need to know the boot menu key of the laptop or computer you're using because in different brands, it's different. For this computer, it's F12. So if it's not the same as mine, I'll place a link on the description below so that you know the boot menu key of your computer. While it is restarting, you kept pressing that boot menu key. For me, it's F12. So I'm going to press that one, kept pressing until it's going to boot up. Okay, I think we got it. There you go. We can select the USB stick, the SanDisk, U-E-F-I, SanDisk. You can use your arrow keys to go up and down. That's how you select it. Then I'm going to press enter. It's going to load up that bootable device that is Hirens Boot CD. It, it's going to take around five, five minutes to load this one up. This will load up like a normal operating system, but it's actually a live bootable device, bootable software running in your USB stick. Now, uh, the resolution of this is very high, so the icons are very small and the text are very small. So I need to go in to that lower left corner in focus. Um, yeah, I'm going to fix my camera. Okay. So click that start button. 
then it's like Windows 10. Yeah, running on a USB stick live. Okay, type in empty password or just type N. It will automatically filter that one out and you will see empty password. Open it up, of course. Then it will load up the directory where Windows uh, technology, the Windows directory of the passwords are being kind of saved. So we're going to load it up. We have several accounts, but the only active account is Torg Pro. So I'm just going to select that one, then click on change password. Of course, you need to type in the new password that we're going to use because if you're not going to change it, then what's the point? Okay, save it. There's another way you can do here since I mentioned a while back, there are several accounts here that you can see. Now, all of those ones are deactivated. So one of the most powerful accounts here like Torogi Pro is the administrator account, which is locked. So if you're going to unlock that, it will open the administrator account. So you can always gain access with the administrator account. So I'll just go ahead and kind of restart this one so that we are going to see. So what we did was reset the password of Torogi Pro and activated the administrator account. So it's up to you guys. What do you want to do? You can just unlock administrator account and then log into this PC or reset the password of your current account. So while this is restarting, there will be two accounts available. The other one is Torogi Pro, which has a password. And then the other one is the administrator account. You can see it there on the lower left corner. We have administrator and Torogi Pro. So like what I've said, it depends on you if you want to do both or just do a reset with the password of Torogi Pro. So I will log in first with Torogi Pro so that we can see. There you go. We can log in right away. Come on. There you go. Torogi Pro is perfectly, the password is perfectly resetted. Now what I'm going to do is log out so we can check that administrator account. Okay, I'll click that. And it will take time to load this one for the first time because nobody has been using this one. So it's kind of creating a new profile for that administrator account. So you need to wait for this. A couple of minutes, maybe five minutes, I guess. A few settings here that we need to set before we go forward. I'll just turn everything off so that, I don't know, that's Windows. Next. There you go, we're in. So this administrator account from the word administrator, you can basically do the highest privilege. So you can delete an account, you can create an account if you want. But for me, I basically don't need this account because my Torogi Pro account is an administrator as well. But I'm just showing you that you can activate the administrator account if you want and not reset the password of the other users. Okay, so there are two options you, you can do. It's either reset the account of a certain user or just activate the administrator account and access the computer if you want. Now, if you don't want that administrator account appearing when you're logging in, you go to your CMD, type it here, right click, run as administrator, then paste this command. I'll place that one on the description below so that it's easier for you. Just copy and paste that it will disable the administrator account that we activated so that it would be showing there. Then if we go to that admin account, it would say, yeah, sign in. Yeah, it's disabled. So, so that it will not appear like this, let's go ahead and restart the computer right away so that it will disappear. Restarting, yeah booting it up all right surprise me Ta-da! there you go the admin account the administrator account there on the lower left corner is gone okay so we're all good now we can go log in to our Torogi pro with the new password we have and then everything's good okay Help me make a dream of 500,000 subscribers, guys. Hope to see you in my next video. I hope you have learned something here. Drop your comments down below. Bye-bye.